Achievers IS Academy. In our current affairs analysis, we have chosen a topic called as Himalayan Trilium. Why this is in use? Any species or any animals which are considered for the IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, becomes important for us with respect to UPSC prelims 2021. Such that Himalayan trillium is a very important topic because in the previous year questions also we have recognized many questions on Himalaya. For example, the Himalayan nite, Himalayan fiber. So UPSC tends to concentrate on the Himalayan regions, the updates from the Himalayan regions, the northeastern regions and northeastern states as well. So that's why any important uh, current affairs regarding the Him Himalayan regions becomes important for us also. So what is the news? The news is that the Himalayan trillium was declared endangered by the IUCN. So IUCN, uh, IUCN uh, listing the data has listed Himalayan trillium as endangered. So we'll see, we'll have a complete discussion on why Himalayan trillium is being endangered and we'll see the updates regarding it. So first of all, it's a common herb of Himalaya. Himalayan trillium is a common herb of Himalaya, which is a robust, trifoliate, perennial, herbaceous plant species with deep red and green colored, red and green colored flowers on the axis. So it's a, it's a plant species, the mature plants which can live up to 30 years and more and usually produce only one flower per year and vegetative reproduction through their tubers occur only in a very old plant. So you can imagine the intensity of the vegetative production it has it has with respect to it and the mature plants are able to be a productive plants. So that is why it is very much intensified when compared to its en enlargement or expansion. So it grows at a height of 15 to 20 centimeters and found in temperate sub alpine zones of Himalayas at an altitude of 2400 to 4000 meters above sea level. So as we can see here, the mature plants, the importance of the mature plants is what makes it endangered. The, the reproductive age is very less when compared to other plants. That is why it has gained some importance. So then, what are the facts about this uh, Himalayan trillium? The local name is Nakshatri. As you can see in the picture, it resembles an umbrella type of creatures. That is why it is called as Nakshatri. And the botanical name is Trillium Govanianum. Trillium Govanianum. And the plant has been traced across India, Bhutan, Nepal, China, Afghanistan, Pakistan. So all the southeastern uh, India and the related countries, we will find this Himalayan Trillium. And Himachal Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir and Sikkim also consists of Himalayan trillium. This was the facts about the Himalayan trillium and what are the uses of this Himalayan trillium and why we, we want to use Himalayan trillium and putting it in the endangered, endangered list makes us vulnerable to access the things. No, that is why what are the uses and the, a plant having its usage in a bigger time helps us to know more about it. So, it has been used in traditional medicines to cure diseases like dysentery, wounds, skin boils, inflammation, sepsis, as well as menstrual and other sexual disorders. So, it has a varied and a wide range of uses. That is why Himalayan trillium becomes very much important when compared with regards to the traditional medicines. And the rhizomes of the herbs is a source of steroidal saponins and can be used as an anti-cancer and anti-aging agent. As you can, as you see this, you can get the importance of that. It is a steroidal saponosis which can help in curing the cancer. It's an anti-cancer element and an anti-aging element as well. So that is why it has given, it has, it is getting a more importance. And it, it this increased its market value and now because an easy target for poachers. Having such enormous and prominent usages, don't you think the illegal trading would stop? 
and it is actually curing many important diseases such as skin, wounds, boils. Doesn't it important? Yeah, is it? Is it? It is important, and that is why poachers are making that vulnerable and uh, uh, grazing, overgrazing, uh, taking up that poaching is very much rampant about this Himalayan primate. Then, what are the factors threatening their survival? We should know. We should see the facts. We should know the uses. We should see the threatening factors also. What threatens the existence of Himalayan trilium? The over exploitation. So this is a main threat for every species if I can tell. So over exploitation, long life cycles, slow to reach reproductive maturity. As we saw in the first, the only the mature plants are able to get the vegetative reproduction such that it takes a very longer time and slower maturity and poor capacity for seed dispersal. When seed dispersal is very less pace, we are not able to expand or increase the crop variability. That is why over exploitation is affecting it. Then highly specific habitat requirement, high trade value, increasing market demand as well as causing its decline. As you can see, uh, the alpine conditions, the mountain conditions are suitable for the growth of Himalayan trillium. That is why there is a decline in the demand also. So this was a threatening threat regarding the existence of Himalayan trillium. So after the threat, we have to take some measures now. That is why the measures need to be taken are implementation and enforcement of sustainable collection protocols. SCP, SCP, sustainable collection protocols and quotas are needed to prevent the illegal trading. As I was telling, illegal trading, the poachers, when, the, when a species gets importance, importance rises up the value, poachers are there at any cost. That is why we have to make the protocols, we have to make the regulations in illegal trading and designation of areas of natural habitats to local communities for management, your community development, community engagement is one thing which we can actually introduce for any measures, any species, community development, community engagement is what we have to think of and impl implantation of fair wild standards as a set of ecological and fair trade guidelines. So this is a very good guidelines named as fair wild standards where you get to have the guidelines regarding such important species then and can help the traders and concerned agencies in the sustainable harvest and trade of this species such that we don't lose the crop we don't lose the importance of the crop but the maturity is slow but we will conserve the seeds we will conserve the seedlings for the future usages also that is why fair wild standards are needed so this becomes our measures that is implementation implementation of uh, enforcement implementation of protocols, avoiding illegal trading and then fair trade standards should be given. So this were a major measures when compared to any other species as well. So then, so this was about Himalayan trillium and a complete discussion of Himalayan trillium. So whenever a current affairs regarding such species are coming, our YouTube, our YouTube videos are a very much helping hand. That is why you get a complete discussion you can use these things in your mains answer readings also. You, you come to know what's the facts, you, you know the threats, you know the measures. That is why current affairs videos becomes a very helping and when writing the mains answers and for the prelims 2021 also. So this was about Himalayan trillium and for any updates regarding such current affairs, you can like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Will You IS Academy. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and you can join our Telegram channel as well. And please log on to our website www.believersis.com for any other information regarding the UPSC examination. Thank you.